Hey there, good morning friends. Welcome back to your side quest contact. We're going to be continuing our creation of an uh, alien story. Uh, when we, we, we left off um, having come up with a kind of like a, a planet outline for where our home base is going to be and we're going to continue on that. Now before we continue on that, I do got a bit of an uh, announcement I'd like to make, some news I'd like to give. Um, I am now set up on Start Playing, and um, I have a uh, campaign set up that I'm, I'm looking to start on Thursday, March the 14th. Be running to a couple to two to three hours starting um, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. We have a session zero on Thursday the 14th. Now if you like um, you know, what you've been seeing, what you've been hearing, how I do things, how I set things up, then yeah, check out, I'm going to put this link down, uh, down in the in the description so check that out and if you want to if you want to play you uh, you know all you got to do is book the spot now the theme I'll give you a little bit of a theme here it's uh it's you know I'm calling this Dragon's Refuge and it's going to be about think about uh, Bahamut and Tiamat uh, coming together, putting their differences aside, realizing that the prime worlds where they have influence and where dragons are are existing are on the constant threat of of annihilation by fiends, by aberrations, uh, demons from hell, I'm um, sorry, demons from the abyss, devils from hell, um, you know, mind-bending uh, aberrations from the far realm, and it seems to be getting easier and easier for these forces to, to infiltrate into the prime worlds and just lay it to waste, even with dragons on these worlds. And sometimes these dragons themselves become a uh, victim of uh, these forces. And maybe even the dragons are making alliance with these forces, and the dragons aren't united when these when the army of demons you know gets into the world and starts rampaging or you know the 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 the, the maniacal devils coming in and making have it, having contracts with like all the major powers of the world or just aberrations coming in and mind controlling everyone and now everyone's just mindless you know you know mind flayer zombies but um but um so yeah um that's what the game's going to kind of be about. Now, we're going to have a starting point. It's going to be uh, an, a campaign. So uh, we're going to have a starting point in a town I've already designed. And uh, the players are going to be starting at first level, but with some perks. Because I want the players to be, you know, somewhat of a, of a presence in this town. You know, someone kind of important in this town. And then, you know, once we uh, once we have a session zero, we have characters, uh, then, you know, it's going to be kind of sandbox from there. I'm going to plan events to happen. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be kind of... Of, uh, you know, free agency. You get to decide your own path, um, and and these events happening, you know, th around that. So yeah, go check that out. I'm excited to get started here. Um, meet some new people, run, run a new game. And if you're new, um, one of the big things about my uh, I've noticed in my reviews is uh, talking about you know really good for new players, and uh, you know being able to you know teach and be patient. Make sure you uh, you understand what's going on. Excuse me. All right, so I'll put that link below, and uh, if you want to check that out, just go check that out. Now, back to Alien. So, the next thing I would like to do in developing this Alien story, because we got a world, right? And we got a pretty good idea of what this world's about. Um, just to recap, it's an ice planet where we, where the, the Seek Sun Corporation has found some, you know, uh, rare el uh, elements that they need for their circuitries for all their technology. So we got a little habitation here, drilling into the ice, you know, harvesting these uh, these minerals, and uh, we have factions, we have uh, scientists, corporate reps, uh, revenue, and I think we are going to go with the idea that, uh, you know, we, at some point, one of these uh, working Joe synthetics uh, might become self-aware, might uh, want to determine its own destiny, may not want to go into the mine shaft and possibly risk uh, um, you know death for, for, for a synthetic and then and then the ramifications of that with all these other factions that the players are going to find themselves caught, caught up in so to kind of further visualize this it will help me and we'll walk through this together it will help me to come up with a, uh, a character I set up uh, in my foundry, I set up uh, an alien just so I can get a character sheet, just so I can get some dice, and so we can kind of play around and see what we got. Now, let's go to the book here. Now, the first thing I'm going to pick for myself is, is one of the careers. 
I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to omit kid because with this, uh, with this uh, setting, it's still a new colony. There's still not a lot of people. We, not, we probably don't have children on here yet. Um, there are colonies that are much bigger, you know, thousands of people that have been there for maybe two, three decades. And yeah, families are, you know, ch children are born and raised and grow up in these uh, colonies. But this is not one of those. So we're going to omit the kid. So what do we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's so eight. Right, let me throw out a D8 and see what we're going to make. Where are we at? D8. Okay. All right, we got a four. Four is going to be one, two, three, skipping the kid, four. All right, so we're going to make a medic. Let me switch this view. Okay. All right, so my career is going to be medic. Come up with a name yet? Just kind of, you know, kind of coming up with the character. So we have a medic who works in this uh, this facility. Um, you, know, you know, on the medical side, right? Uh, colonists get sick. Colonists get injured. Um, we have a medic. You know, probably a few. I mean, probably not just one um, to to deal with that. So let's go. Uh, let's take a look at medic and kind of dive into that. I'll zoom in some so I can see. All right. A million and one ways to die in space. <laughs> yep, yep, from exposure to vacuum or unknown contagions to vicious organisms getting accidentally shot by a drunken roughneck. In all these scenarios, you're the one carrying the bandages, the adrenaline shots. It takes a few minutes when someone suffers trauma. Casey, I mean, okay. You used to be altruistic about frontier medicine, but you've seen enough to you've seen enough to become jaded. Too many people in the outer veil are addicted to painkillers, and most colonies are not up to health and safety re regulations. This means people get hurt, and therefore your work is never done. Well, that's 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 a bright that's a bright outlook on life. Okay, so what do we got? We got key attribute, empathy, key skills, mobility, observation, medical aid. We got some talents, calming presence, compassion, field surgeon. So we're going to kind of look through those and assign some numbers here in a minute. That's our personal agenda. Choose one of these options below or decide, uh, uh, or decide for yourself. You're addicted to a painkiller. Protect your stash and your secret. You have some unusual but classified medical reports that the company is looking for. Find out why they are so important. You have sworn an oath never to take a life and you mean it. So we got personal agenda here. Kind of and signature items. Choose one of the following or come up with yourself. Framed medical certificate, letter from a son or daughter, last psych evaluation, <laughs> all clear at last. <laughs> Finally, all clear. All right, so we got some appearances here. Okay, yeah, kind of pick one or come up with something if you'd like. Gear. All right, you get two of the starting items below and you also get D6 times 100 cash. All right, let's start with that. I'm going to D6 times 100 that. Let me get out of D6. How much cash do I got? I got 400. We'll call this dollars, just to keep things simple. $400. What else do I get? A surgical kit or an IRC MK50 compression suit. I'm thinking it's going to be surgical kit. Um, yeah, we're on, we're not on a ship. We're in a we're on a planet side uh, space you know colony station. So I don't really see much going outside into space. So yeah, we're gonna have a surgical kit. Let's see, where's my is there a spot for gear inventory? Yeah, let's put that here. Yeah, let's just okay. Yeah, let's just kind of ad hoc this here. Got a surgical kit. What else have I got? D6 doses of napro leave or D6 doses of never sleep. Hmm. I'll look those up in a minute and decide. A personal med kit or D6 doses of experimental X drugs. I'm thinking personal medical kit out of those two options. Given you know what we're, what you know the the nature of our setting and such. So let's go personal med kit. A Samurai E series watch or a hand radio. Oh, not Samurai, Samani. For some reason that looked like Samurai to me. 
which would have been really cool. Uh, so let's go with Samani. Samani E Series Watch. All right, so that kind of uh, that wraps up the medic. All right, so now let's uh, let's go up here. Let's go to deve uh, no, not developing. Let's see your character, cinematic, core concepts, personal stuff, name, health, appearance, personal agenda, bodies, careers, attributes, starting attributes. Okay, let's go to here. All right, when you create your character, let's see if you can't play me, distribute a total of 14 points across your attributes. The attributes being here, stealth, agility, wits, empathy. Okay. 14 points. You may assign no less than two, so they have to have two at least, and no more than four to any attribute. However, I can give a five to the key attribute of my career. All right, let's kind of take a look at that. So, a five... Okay, so let's go back to my, where's my medic? Key attribute is empathy. So I can put a five in empathy. Let's do that. Imagine that's going to be important for something. So we got a five in empathy. And uh, how many did it say total? Let me go back and look. All right, so 14, and the rest can have no more than four. So I've already used five, so I got nine left, and there's three of these. I could just spread it out and put three in each of these. Strength, agility, wits, pretty balanced, being highly empathetic. Or I could go up and put a four into something, and then I would have, what, a, a two, and then a, and then a three. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the, the three threes just for now. I might, I might change my mind. But for now, we'll keep it even. Whoa, whoa not 30. That'd be interesting, huh? I don't know how those dice would work. <clears throat> All right, so we got in 14 points. One at five, my key ability, and the rest between two and four, where they should be. All right. Next, skills. All right, your skills are the knowledge and abilities you acquire during life. They are important as they determine, uh, along with your attributes, how effectively you perform actions. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. There are 12 skills in the game. If you have no skill, you can even roll. You can still roll on it. it just kind of defaults to your relevant attribute. So starting, when you create your character from campaign you distribute a total of 10 points amongst your skills 10 points amongst here's our skills so obviously I'm gonna want things that are good in empathy see yeah empathy medical command okay well I like how it gets frizzy like that when you hover that's kinda neat um, so up, you can assign up to three points to each of the skills listed for your career you can assign a single point to any other skills. Okay, so they can only go up to three for now for skills that are part of your career and the rest you can assign a single point to any other skills. So which one which ones were part of my career? Let's go back to medic. Here we are. Mobility, observation, medical aid. So I can go up to three. So if I put three in each of those, I'd only have one left. So I may, because it said, just to, just to make sure I know what I'm doing. 10 points. And only the ones that are key skills can go up to three. The others have to be a one. So I can't even put a two in something else other than a key skill. So only the key skills can be a one or two or three. Anything else can only be a one. So then let's do this. What if we went to the key skills? Let me go back. Let 
if I'm a medic, obviously I want medical aid probably to be the best best one of those. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a three in medical aid. We'll start there. I'll go ahead and cap that out. Three in medical aid. Oh, sorry, wrong button. Um, observation and mobility. Let's do a two in observation. And the two in mobility, because you got to be observant, right? When you're, uh, you got to be kind of quick. You got to be able to at react to uh, to crises and screaming people who need help. Okay, so and the rest can only be a one. So we so we'll, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. So I can pick three of these and put a one in it. So let's do, how about range combat? You know, should know how to shoot something if, if necessary. I don't think, I don't think we need a pilot. Maybe, um, how about manipulation? Because that's based off empathy, so that'll be helpful. I don't see much of a commander here. I'm sorry, survival. That might be helpful, survival. Right, so I'm gonna got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. Okay. So we are not good at heavy machinery, getting close into combat, stamina. Don't know how to pilot or command people, or use much tech. But we know how to we know how to help people. We know how to fix people, patch them up. All right. So those are the skills. Now, what else we get? Signature item. Oh, let's uh, let's go back to. starting attributes talents okay these are the tricks moves and minor abilities that give you a small edge think of these as like feats if you're thinking D&D &D. they are more specialized in skills that make your character unique when creating a character for campaign play you get one talent at the start of the game your career offers three of these to choose from and then you can learn more from the course of the game and then you can choose from many more talents okay so I got to pick one of these talents showing Here they are, career talents, calming presence, compassion, field surgeon. Uh, I'm just going to go with field surgeon. When I look at that, um, we'll look them up and see what they do, but I'm going with field surgeon. Talents we have, go ahead, give me a field surgeon. <laughs> okay, then let's just go to description, and I'll just put in here, talents. field surgeon. And I have a couple more pieces of gear I need to pick as well. Let's see, where's that at? Napro leave or never sleep. Alright, let's go check out some gear. I can see what my watch does too. Weapons and armor, equipment, computer mainframes, data storage, tools, medical supplies, pharmaceuticals. Nap relief. An, inject, an in, injectable instant pain reliever for all strains, stresses, and irritations. Recommend for use during any self-inflicted uh, cesarean performed to extract an unconventional fetus from your womb. That's funny. I just watched a Covenant the other day when she had to do that. Um, immediately reduces the patient's stress level to zero. Okay, that's cool. So if you're stressed out, give yourself a shot of this. Oh, I feel much better. Uh, an overdose of naprovine can have an intoxicating effect. Each dose beyond the first gives uh, in the same shift, which is like a time a time frame, minus one to agility based rolls. Okay, so I could choose one of those or some of those or the never sleep. Fast acting supplements that keep you going well past your bedtime. Excessive use can cause stroke or heart attack. Each dose increases your stress level one step, but removes the need to sleep for a whole day. <laughs> wow. 
uh, during that day, you cannot relieve stress. Yeah. <laughs> I like the nap relief better. So we're going to go with some nap relief. If I'm a doctor, if I'm helping someone, they're in a lot of pain or something, I need to be able to you know, hit them with that shot and uh, calm them down and make them feel better. So nap relief. How many did I get? D6 doses. Okay, so I got to roll for it. All right, so I got two doses on me. I'm probably waiting for a, a new shipment to arrive to get more. Maybe there's more in the locker. Two doses of Napro. Let's look at let's find the med kits, the personal med kits, the watch. Let's go take a look at those two. Back to gear. Tools, pharmaceuticals, medical supplies. Okay, here we are. Personal med kit. Things what you need to stop bleeding, disinfect a wound, and cauterize, uh, some Pharmax bandages to wrap up, and, and uh, a stem boost to keep you on your feet. Medkit is not a permanent solution. It's more of a band-aid to keep your guts from spilling out until you reach an auto dock. Uh, get a plus, when, you, when, when, I'm, when the, my character is using this, I get a plus two modification to medical A-roads, but that, that can only be used once because you use up the kit and it's done. Surgical kit. These nasty looking instruments, because they have one of these as well, can mean life or death in either the hands of the surgeon or a killer. That makes sense. Uh, they're introduced to save lives in a pinch they can make for great cutting weapons. You can get plus one modification when you're making medical aid rolls to prevent death from a fatal critical injury. Base damage is two if you're going to use it as, use it as a weapon. All right. I love how they put in here, you know, the things that are supposed to help you could also be used to hurt you. Uh, what about, let's see, tools. We gotta, where's the watch? Is there a watch around anywhere? Let's see what that does. Maybe it's in data storage, no, long data storage, mainframes, nah. Vision devices. And maybe it just means I have a, a fancy watch. A fancy expensive watch doesn't have uh, much utility. Vehicles. Yeah, we're gonna look at that. Weapons and armor. Maybe? Yeah. Alright, we'll just say it's a, a fancy, you know, watch. Alright, so that's our character. So this character, this medic, works in this facility on an ice planet drilling for elements needed to build circuits. So for a medic, how do we get wrapped up in, in uh, conflict and in drama? Well, the obvious answer is someone's injured, someone needs help, and the medic is called on to help that person. And maybe perhaps, and normally, in the normal you know, occurrences of events, a medic would maybe help someone, uh, that someone thanks the medic, and then that someone moves on, the medic moves on, life goes on for each of those in their own direction. But maybe because we, yeah, we we're pretty observant, we got a pretty good observation, we got a pretty good wits, so if I'm observant and I got good wits, maybe I notice something when I'm helping this uh, this person who's injured, and I notice something that bothers me, and I choose to investigate, or maybe in a delirium, the injured person says something that catches my attention. And either way, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up on something that I want to look into further. Yeah, I kind of like that. I want to look into something for us. So let's kind of, let's see, let's go to descriptions. All right, so talents, field search. Oh, we didn't look at field surgeon. Let's take a quick look at that. Let's see what that does. Talents. These are medic talents. 
You know the delicate art of stopping a wound from bleeding or treating grave injuries. You get a plus two modif uh, modification to medical aid when treating someone who is about to die from a critical injury. All right, yeah, so I got the talents, I got the tools, I got the skills to help people out. And between all those modifiers, it seems like I'm pretty good at it. Get the plus two modifier because I'm a field surgeon. I get modifier if I'm using the med kit or the surgical tools. And then I'm just, you know, I got, I, I topped out my, my medic skill and the, the, the attribute that goes with it. So yeah, we got a pretty, uh, pretty talented medic here. And we got one who wants to look into something. Treating. This is something we and this is how we can further get into story for, for our characters, our players. Treating injury on a oh, treating I'm just going to tr treating injured colonist notices I'm just going to say something. Wants to investigate. We'll get wrapped up in something probably doesn't want to get wrapped up in. Alright, that's a good spot. So the more we kind of go through these exercises, the more the the image of the world kind of appears in in, in, in my mind at least and I would hope yours as well um, you know and I, I can see a very I can see pretty clearly this 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 lone facility on this this barren like there's this ice and snow is to the horizon but in the middle of this nothingness and this cold nothingness we have this one spot this one colony this one station and we got these 70 people who are in this one place doing this one, you know, all, all contributing to the task of drilling and, and, and uh, mining for these minerals. Um, we have a we have a star, you know, a star character, if you will, one of the one of the medics, you know, one of the, the probably one of the more talented medics too, um, helping out and, and getting wrapped up in something. And I think we're going to we're going to explore that something a little more next time. All right, friends. Well, hey, another uh, another successful uh, or, or productive session, I would say. I hope I hope you thought so too. Uh, thanks for hanging out. And again, if you want to go check out that uh, that game, I'm going to put the link for that uh, down below. All right. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.